Hi everyone, I am about to share with you another one of my most favorite recipes. The boys love it, I love it. It's my meatloaf with pretzels and Parmesan. I said pretzels, I said Parmesan, it's all in the meatloaf. It's so easy, you can use pantry staples and it's free form, which means you don't even have to dirty a loaf pan. You just kind of make it all together in one bowl, put it on a baking sheet, free form, bake it in 45 minutes, you have the most amazing meatloaf. I use ground beef, you can use ground turkey, ground chicken, um, and you really just use what you already have, and I know that you're gonna love this. So I'm gonna show you how you build it all together in one bowl and, um, and get it to the pan. It's really easy. So I've got a pound of lean ground beef. I think this is 80% lean, and I just bought whatever I could find. So you can use 80, you can use 90, you can use 92, 96, whatever you find. Um, so that's a pound, and that's in there. And then I crushed up these little pretzels. These are little the little mini pretzels. I got a half a cup. Use whatever pretzels you have, sticks, the sourdough, the little nuggets, whatever. Put them in a Ziploc bag. Give them a good mash with a meat mallet or a rolling pin to get a half a cup of like coarse grind. You know, you want that, you kind of want to be able to tell it's a pretzel. So this way you're going to get that wonderful like toasted pretzel flavor and salt, which is really awesome. I love that. And then I've got a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. You can use really good Parmesan cheese or you can use, you know, the store-bought shelf stable Parmesan cheese. Quarter cup of that, that adds great flavor, a nuttiness, and also a little bit more salt. Um, I've got a quarter cup of ketchup. You can use tomato sauce if that's what you already have, or ketchup if that's what you have. That goes in. I've got an egg. So how this works is the dry ingredients will kind of blend with the wet ingredients and hold everything together. So even if you're using a loaf pan or freeform, the whole thing stays together because you've got the egg and the ketchup, the wet ingredients with the Parmesan and the uh, pretzels, which is usually you would use breadcrumbs or crackers, and that will hold everything together. Then I've got ketchup on my hands. So that's why I keep a handy paper towel. I've got my herbs and spices. So again, use what you have in your pantry. I have a teaspoon of dried parsley, a teaspoon of dried basil, half a teaspoon each of onion powder and garlic powder. But if you have oregano and thyme, throw those in there. Those are delicious too. So those all go in. I need about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. I love this flavor. It's one of those undetectable flavors that brings out the flavors of everything else. It's a one-stop shop, so I love that. And then a little salt and pepper. I'm not gonna do a lot because the Parmesan cheese is salty and the pretzels are salty. And then some black pepper. There it is. Everything's already in this bowl. So now I'm just getting my hands in there and I'm gonna get it all together so I can bring it over to the baking sheet and shape it into a loaf. Okay, everything is blended. It looks so good. You can see the little nuggets of pretzels in there. It's perfect. Nice and blended. You don't wanna overwork it because you don't wanna um, make the meat tough. Just enough to you see everything's incorporated evenly right in this big bowl. And you don't have to have everything all mise en place like I did. So literally it's a dump and stir one bowl recipe. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how it looks when you get it to the baking sheet. So fun. I haven't made a meatloaf in a loaf pan ever since I discovered this way to do it because what I love is we put a little coating around the outside of the meatloaf and this way more of the outside of the meatloaf gets caramelized and that's where all that flavor is. So, okay, I'm gonna kind of shape it into a mound ball and plop it on there. Oops, a little loud, sorry about that. Okay, now I'm just gonna shape this into a loaf that's about seven inches long. You don't need to get your ruler out or your tape measure. You just want it to be about seven inches long, a couple inches high. You can't go wrong here, you can't make a mistake. This is the rustic way to make a meatloaf. Okay, so there it is, shaped. You could do an oval. You can actually make it look kind of like a loaf pan if you want to square off the ends here. Maybe I'll do that this time since I usually make an oval. Maybe I'll make this one look like it's a cute little loaf. So you see that? See how that looks on there? Okay, now here's for the coating. Then you know how pretzels and mustard have a natural affinity. So I like to put mustard in my coating for my meatloaf but I also like the sweetness of ketchup and I like how the sugars in the ketchup caramelize as the meatloaf bakes. So on this little plate, I have 
two tablespoons of ketchup, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and I'm gonna mix that together. So you can use yellow mustard because yellow mustard also works really great with pretzels. But I just love the way this works. It's like a flavor that we always, that I, I always do on my meatloaf. So I'm gonna put this on the top and then I'm going to either, you can use the back of your spoon or a pastry brush to get the coating all over the top and the sides. So you see, if you were using a loaf pan, you wouldn't get the sides all caramelized. So I'm gonna just get this all coated, all the way around. And the sugars, the tanginess, it all roasts in the oven on the outside as the meatloaf bakes to perfection on the inside. And when I say bake to perfection, I mean, I really think you should use a meat thermometer. That's what I do. I try to not just eyeball it and you don't wanna cut into it because you wanna have a, a nice presentation when you bring it to the table. So I use a meat thermometer and I try to get it to 155 because the ultimate goal is 160. And when you pull the meatloaf from the oven, it will increase by five degrees as it rests. So that's the goal, use a meat thermometer. I'm gonna start checking it at about 40 minutes. So it's beautifully glazed. The oven is preheated to 350. I'm gonna get this in for 40 minutes and then we'll take a look. There it is my friends, 160 degrees. I took it out after 40 minutes, it was 155. Waited five minutes and now it's at 160. Perfect. So I'm gonna slice it up and show you what it looks like inside. There it is, look at that beautiful meatloaf and you can see the pretzels and the caramelized exterior. So there you have it, my easy meatloaf with pretzels and Parmesan cheese. I hope you try it. It's remarkably easy, incredibly flavorful. You can use pantry staples and just have it come together in 45 minutes. So please try it and let me know what you think. I'll see you soon.